Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel today. If this is your first time of joining us, I want to say a warm welcome to you. I'm very happy you are in this channel today. This is a channel where we learn how to do lots of fashion stuffs. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be learning how to make this structured sleeve. Okay, this structured sleeve. If you want to learn how to make this 3D butterfly effect, you can check one of my videos. You'll find how we do the 3D applique design. So these are the materials that we are going to be using for this structured sleeve today. Okay, these are the materials. They are not much. They are just about four uh, materials that we'll be needing first this is the doll face satin i'm going to be using doll face satin today okay and i'm also going to be using a peplum stay this is the hard one and i also use the soft one which is the hair stay okay these are the three materials that i'm going to be using there's, there's the difference between the peplum stay and the hair stay the peplum stay is actually hard and this is the boning that we are going to be using the plastic boning that is what will give it that um, round shape effect this is my measuring tape pressing iron and my scissors guys let's get to work first i'll place my fabrics on the table like this i'm going to straighten them out and i'm going to use my measuring tape to measure Okay, first we'll start by measuring the wideness. I actually want this to be around 4 inches when I'm done. So I'm going to measure it at 5 inches. Okay, to leave a 1 inch stitching allowance. Okay, after measuring the, the wideness, I'm going to measure the length. In these videos, I'll be working with 25 inches as my length, which is 25 by 5 inches. That is what I'm working with. So I'm going to quickly cut this out okay please do not mind my scissors it's a bit sharp okay when i feel when i'm free one of these days i'll go get a new scissors and i'll show it to you guys okay so please bear with me in this video so i'm going to cut it out like this after cutting it out i'll take out the excess fabrics and and i'm going to flip it to the other side and trim it into two it's no longer one fabric now it's going to be into two so please watch what i am doing okay so after cutting i'm going to place the hair stay on the back of the fabric i'm going to be placing the hair stay on the back of the fabric on both of them actually okay so watch as i'm doing it after placing them i'm going to iron them I will iron them out so that they can be glued to the fabrics. I'm going to iron it on both of them. And after ironing the, the hair stay to both of them, I'm going to trim them out just like this. You see, this is how it looks after ironing. And I'm going to use the peplum stay now. I'm going to iron it on one of them. Okay. After ironing the peplum stay on one of them, I'm going to draw four lines on it two on each side okay and after drawing those two lines i'll go over to the sewing machine and i'm going to stitch or run a stitch through those four lines like that so let's add our peplum stay yes these are the lines i was talking about okay those lines are where the boning casing the boning is going to be passing through the, the boning casing that is where the boning casing will be okay i actually measured the boning to ensure that it goes in smoothly so i'm going to turn both of them right sides facing each other please bear with me with the edges i'm going to trim them out later okay and i'm going to stitch the first line only i'm not stitching the other line i wouldn't want this line to show in front of the structured sleeves when it's done okay so after stitching them together and turning it over to the front side this is what we have guys our structured sleeve is ready so when yours is ready you can go ahead and put all kinds of design that you want okay here is the video of the boning this was how i trimmed it before pushing it through the boning casing that was stitched on the fabrics okay finally this is our structured sleeve all looking all nice guys give it up thumbs up like share for these videos okay if you want to learn how to make this 3d butterfly effect please 
check on my videos you will find out how to make them if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please subscribe like share leave a comment so that i'll know you stopped bye thank you so much guys bye